All right, so this is Project Maximus, our 1968 twin turbocharged all aluminum 572 Hemi with octane on demand, twin injectors per cylinder, air conditioning, all the luxuries, but it's a wide body. So uh, we've done all the metal working here. It's five inches wider than stock, but it looks subtle. We've got a 31 inch by 18 wide tire in the back, custom built rear suspension, that suspension in the front, six piston calipers, 14 inch rotors. I mean, it is a bad mofo and uh, we're really proud of it. And I'm, we're just, I'm gonna show you a lot of the little details that have been going into it. We've kind of kept it hush hush. We're gonna show you some of the before stuff going on here uh, before we actually get this thing going. Okay, so here what we got going on is we've got the engine mocked up in the, you know, in the, some of the very beginnings here. We, we just finished our uh, custom set of stainless headers and they are just absolutely crazy because we're keeping the shock towers in this thing. So the actual clearances that we had to do to get this to work was, it was probably the single hardest header that we've, that we've ever done. Um, and you, of course we've got our patented symmetrical turbochargers on here. And we're running a built specialties uh, drive system, which has air conditioning, power steering, high amp alternator, all on a serpentine drive belt. And it's an all aluminum 572, uh, you know, twin turbo Hemi that, that we're putting in this baby. And it's, it's really gonna be something special. Underneath, we've got an aluminum K-frame that houses all VET suspension. Uh, so it's all C6 in the front with, uh, you know, 14 inch rotors, six piston calipers and uh, they're just canoes, huge, huge calipers. And, uh, you know, we'll just keep showing you little details about the car. So here's something showing you just some of our, the weld quality and the fitment quality of the pipes. You know, 321 stainless, all back purged, and uh, just a sweet looking piece. Uh, another deal that we got going on is I just want to kind of show you some of the clearances that we're working with in here. So here's a shot of our twin turbo headers as they're in the infancy stage of this engine bay along with our mirror image turbos counterclockwise and clockwise and a nice billet specialty uh, true track system. All aluminum 572 Hemi and uh, these headers are, they took some serious time. Show you some of the weld quality that we got going on and fitment. Really nice, nice set of headers. Another view of how we we centered the engine. So the header on this side it is real close. The brake master and the steering. So we had to do all custom, so there's a custom stuff like that. But you can see just the craziness of this having to pull the header in and out, in and out, tack the tube, tack the tube, in and out. Okay, so I wanted to point out something special about this build over some other builds that we've done is we've actually widened the car five inches. It's so the car the car is actually five inches wider. And what we did here is we had this two these two angles where this is straight and this is actually coming out. So we split the door and actually pie sectioned the door and kept the pie going all the way down the rear fender. This is obviously this is very welded and, and rough beaten. So we've got some exceptional metal guys in here and we'll show you after what it, the other side looks like that's actually been hand pounded to where, you know, we're really, we won't even be putting a skin coat of Bondo on it. It's really gonna be something special, but you can see how we kept on going, kept the stock filler. We've, we've cut the wheel arc out because we've got a 31 inch tall 18 inch wide 20 Mickey on here. So we've widened the wheel arc. We'll show you that on the other side. So this car really is a testament to what we can do with metal because there was really 
nothing on this car that wasn't junk when, when we got it. I mean, the car was down to half frame rails and we basically built it back up to this. There's not one panel on this car that we haven't touched or modified. So we're here on the on the passenger side now, where we've actually hand finished, uh, you know, the weld and the, and the patch. And you can see, you know, how much pounding we've done and how straight it is after we've taken a two and a half inch strip and put it all the way down. It, I mean, it looks like it was meant to be on this car. But the car is so big and wide that you really don't even. You barely even notice that it is a wide body and that, that was the whole key is to just be subtle about it rather than being, you know, gaudy about it. And I think that's really something, uh, a testament to, to my metal guys. Um, you can come in here with the door and see how it's spliced in on the door here and how these two angles spread apart and you can kind of see some traces of the weld but how it's all been panned out. Okay, so, you know, this is, this is one of my favorite parts of the car is how we've done the wheel arc and fit this tire in there. And you can see the charger just eats the tire up and it eats the wide body up and it still looks stock. So it was just Scott Spock, the owner, made the decision to go with this, with this monster. And I just think it absolutely fits the bill. And you can see where we've actually We've lengthened uh, the wheel well and how we're patching that back in into the quarter. Uh, we obviously have got some welding and metal finishing to do still, but um, really coming out nice. Okay, so what I'm showing you here right here is the, is the tail panel with the bumper. And uh, normally when we build these cars, we like to tuck the bumpers in real tight. But since we're doing a wide body, you can see this is how much we've widened on both sides of the tail panel, uh, the rear of the car. So we actually need to add length to the bumper and make it really tight. So we've taken two bumpers, we sectioned them. And what basically what we're going to do is we're going to section and add, you know, a length of the bumper to the car on each side, basically. Another couple tricky things that we've done too is we don't want to see the bumper bolts. You know, the bumper bolts are kind of ugly, so we've welded up the bumper bolts and then stuttered them from the back so we can bolt the bumper on from the back so it'll give it a really clean look so we've eliminated the bumper bolts here and then we're going to slice the bumper here go ahead and add this piece on tuck it in really tight to the quarters and we're going to get a really slick looking piece so again showing off a lot of little cool metal work uh, you know this is rough finished that this is rough finished but when we're done you won't even be able to tell that it's been welded <laughs> all right so we're here at the back half of the car here as you can see we've kind of cut out the floors we're going to make all new since we have to what since we widen the fenders we've got to extend these uh, rear pieces here we've made we made some custom fuel tanks to fit into this area right here which we'll show you um, you know all handmade put the fuel pumps and filters inside uh, we went ahead and made all these frame rails caged everything double sheared the coilovers water jet all these brackets you know basically custom made this entire rear suspension and rear frame rails to to, to accommodate the bigger tire uh, because with the bigger tire, the axle sat basically right against the frame rail. Uh, so we had to, you know, raise the frame rail so we'd have suspension travel. But we went ahead and uh, made it fully adjustable so we can take our instant center. We've got five ways to adjust the instant, instant center. Um, we went ahead and had the sway bar go through the frame rail and put spherical uh, rod bearings. 
uh, for this for the sway bar that way we could attach the sway bar as close to the end of the rear end as possible so it's got you know splined uh, sway bars on heim joints uh, it, it's really uh, you know we've got some time into this baby but it's gonna it's a special car suspension um, some other cool things that we've done um, you know obviously we went ahead and made all the uh, control arms um, again the sway bar through the frame uh, being five-way adjustable uh, on the instant center we went ahead and water jet this cross member with uh, some big exhaust cutouts so we can have the exhaust tucked up nice and high um, this transmission tunnel, we went ahead and cut all the floor out. And then pull maxed dies, metal fin welded and metal fill finished them into the floor. So the transmission tunnel just sits flush with the floor rather than going ahead and just edge welding it. It's, it's actually flanged all the way. And then as you can see, it's all cleat goed in. Uh, now this cage is all certified. So the roll cage is all certified for an 850 uh, spec, so the car is legal to go 850. Um, we've got removable door bars for when he wants to drive it on the street, but even still we've got a low, we've got two sets of door bars, one straight door bar and one low one for the street, but if he ever wants to just take it off, we can unclip the door bar itself. I'll show you some of the detail work in the package tray area here that we did. All right, so I wanted to show you some of the other things. This is how we filled in the rear speaker tray because we've got to have a steel firewall to be legal. Um, how we fit the cage. So we went ahead and cut these panels out, pull max flanges, metal finished, and welded all that so the cage is just super tight to the rear speaker tray. Um, you know, blocked off this piece in the back here. Again, just metal finished it all. And it just kind of shows the quality of the whole car is up to snuff. It's not just doing one part of the car, it's the entire car is getting details. As always, the fucking ice cream truck is still in the background. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's at night and the damn ice cream truck is here. It's just comical that that damn thing is always here. <laughs> So in the wide body, we've had to section this piece here and extend it out to fit the fender itself. So we've sectioned it and you just see the Clico holes, but this will all be finished. You won't even see the seam when we're done. You can get an idea of the widening of just what the factory rocker is comparative to where the fender is right now. So we're going to have to make new rockers to fill that in. So take a look at the size of this canoe. I mean, look at that in comparison. Six piston monster. Stop Tech makes it. It is a, uh, it's a crazy looking brake, that's for sure. That should definitely slow down our little 2,000 horsepower beast when we want it to slow down. Another thing I wanted to show you about a car like this is a car like this with the motor, you know, it's making close to 2,000 horsepower or, or more, uh, you have to cool a motor like this correctly or else you're just going to end up, you know, the whole car has to be built around the motor. And that's what I'm trying, kind of trying to show you guys is the caging and the suspension and the brakes. It's all built around the engine. So we end up building the entire car around it. So right here, it's a custom core support that we, you know, we water jet out this core support, kind of like, you know, had it all interlocked. That's where you see these stitch welds. So we water jet and interlocked it like a Lego set, basically. So we've got a 36 inch long radiator with twin 16 inch fans. We've got a really nice AC condenser, which we made a nice little custom bracket that, you know, we'll screw in. And then right here, what this is, this is a radiator for the intercoolers. So we've got two water to air intercoolers that we're hiding underneath the fenders. 
and then they run through this radiator which cools the intercooler so you've got you know all of this packed into this custom core support but the thing is going to actually drive on the street it's going to be functional it's not just a big motor scabbed in a in a car it's everything is thought out on it and i, I it's a uh, it, there's another piece that i'm really proud of that we'll be able to graft into the car